Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you on Friday, September the 1st. The year's 2023. Let's talk trading. What a day. We've got the monthly open, weekly wrap-up, and NFP day. These videos are for educational purposes only. Your results may differ from mine. Okay, so let's take a quick look at the month here. We noticed last month was red. So far, we're 16 pips above the monthly open on the pound. And we've um, entered into that previous month's lower wick zone and we're coming right back out monthly open was at 126.72 so we're 24 off the high 49 off the low uh still feeling the effects of nft now for the week we are up 118 pips from the open according to the dashboard all of the weekly open gaps have filled we're 59 off the high 125 off the low and this week is an inside bar. Last week was an outside bar. And if we take a quick look at the day, we're putting in the opening range for the month, which is a very small opening range here, considering it's NFP day and the first day of the month. Usually there's a little more um, bigger move. Notice the previous day was an inside bar, and we did crack that low. And we are above the opening range for the week. Looking at the month, we are 597 pips above the yearly open. 455 off the yearly high, 885 off the yearly low. And as I mentioned before, we had an inside bar one day ago, an inside bar three weeks ago. We had cracked both of those lows, and we've crossed back above. So it should be interesting uh, to see what happens with these inside bar levels, or rather with, but at these inside bar levels. And talking about range, on NFP day, the pound is only 73 pips. It's like, what is wrong with that picture? But you can see we've got 4, 6, 8, 10, 11 pairs over 100 pips of range. Nobody at the 200 pip level. Walmart uh, just got off the phone with him. Remember, he's on vacation this week had a very interesting observation. He said earlier in the week, they um, had the unemployment numbers at one level, and then he he wrote it down, and then they changed it right before NFP. He looked at it today, and it's like, whoa, they dropped the numbers. So I figured they wanted to make the news look better than what it was. So uh, right before the minute, before the open, I went long and I picked up a quick 11 pips off of that move. Yes, they brought out an another couple of uh, pails of shrimps, another 20-some pips, but actually I think it was almost another 30-some pips. But I was happy just to be in and out in just a few seconds and pick up 10, 11 pips. That was, uh, let's see. Yeah, I was actually in for in that trade 14. No, that was that trade. The, the C. Actually, I was in that trade longer than I thought. Let's see. I got in 20 seconds before. No, I was in there for 26 seconds. But hey, that's not bad, right? We can see here on this particular H1, it covered that body came down to the uh, daily open and then bounced so you can see there's another nice move through here through the uh, daily open crossover move even though the candle color at the line would have probably been green on a lower time frame let's let's look at m5 Oh, that's going to take a while. I just realized it because I've got a dashboard on this chart. And that's why I didn't have the, the uh, changer there. Yep.
Yeah, that's going to take a while. My mistake. So, yeah, so you had this candle here. It was still red at the open. I wonder what M1 would look like, but I'm not going to. Uh, I'm going to put this back at one hour. shouldn't take as long because it, the history was already there. And you can see here, once again, this would be a HOLO, highest open trade. And so that first one would have paid off. It's right back. So look, maybe to do it again. <sighs> Red rats. Prepare yourselves. Hmm. Notice the smart rat zone on the upside is smaller than 20 pips. But on the downside, it's slightly larger. So, you're right in the ballpark there. So, that's kind of nice to see, knowing that those uh, that 20 pip rat zone is still holding. Actually, for a while there, it was I think it was down to 15 pips. And let's see, Bambino Flex Indicator says go short price near pivot goes short and that would have paid off a couple of times price near r1 it never quite got there and almost hit s1 and the bias was long near s1 so pivot trading plan is paying off again today and we took out today's pivot on the week we took that out and we've got the new monthly pivot has already been taken out last month's pivot hasn't been yet so you can see here we've got a bunch of missed pivots we spread this out we've got two monthly missed pivots this month or this year rather we've got three from last year And just to take a quick look at H4. We've got a missed pivot. Up here. And notice this pivot got taken out in the last four hour candle. And shorting that H4 open just now at 91 would have paid off. And that's right around the previous midpoint. And once again, we did cover that H1 candle. And looking at the week, only 184 pips. Now, that has to be an anomaly. We've had red news three days in a row, and we've only moved 184 pips in range at the 33 percentile. Um... There's almost something wrong with that picture. Once again, last week was an outside bar. So if it breaks 2800 or 2547, look for price to run. Because outside bar breaks usually are huge based on these statistics. Uh, so once again, inside bar, we didn't break the previous high or the previous low. Uh, high minus the close for the week, 57. Close minus the low, 126. So, weekly open crossover traders were paid off. I'm sorry, these are the rat traders. Been paid off. High minus open, 175. So, they were paid off nicely. But, the uh, weekly open crossover traders shorting at the weekly open was only eight pips and i think you only had one maybe two opportunities to do that looking at today's trading chart here price action simple i like the m30 right here across the open and once again there's that daily open move we're right back to the open of h4 
So let's see what happens here. Price is dropping. And if we drop down here to M5, we've got this outside bar. So if we get a break, could be huge. Right at the 85, it's stalling. Let's see if we crack through. There we go. Let's see what happens. There's that. Let's see, does it reverse or does it crack it and move big? It looks like it wants to reverse off of it. And then if you even play the M1, one of the things that I've noticed, if you're a scalper, notice I've, I increased the size of the indicator two dots here. So it's nice and big. So you can see it from across the room even. Indicator two. So these are the defaults, except I made bar width two as opposed to one or zero, the default. Now, what I like to do is this. You know how we like to do the flip-flop trades. So if it changes from magenta to aqua and it closes, right before the close, if you can see, or right at the open, you jump in. And then you look for a pip or two. And if you can see here, almost every time um, it flip-flops, you'll get it. Now here, the reason I pointed this out, you see, if you would have done that, it would have moved against you. And then it's like, well, do you exit on the flip-flop? Well, you can see you're still below that open. So you just wait, take your chances. It probably did not threaten your stop. And you'll say, well, what's the stop? Well, in this case, it would be two dots in a row. It's just, so maybe it's 10 pips. Maybe it's five. You give it a little breathing room because it will wiggle. But you can see here, if you waited it out, there was a nice um, nice trade. So right here, this short would have paid just a couple of pips. Now, the other thing is sometimes you might want to start riding the dots because this number can get up to 10 and then it just stays because that's all the these have. I'm really thinking about changing um, these to regular numbers. So you can actually see how many in a row. And there we have that crack again. I think it was at 85 we were looking here on the M5. So it just cracked it. Because what did it do? I believe it got back up to that M5 open. There's the crack. So that would have been a nice trade there. It cracked the 85. So that would have been worth about 5 pips. So once again, a flip-flop. You enter on the open would have moved against you a little bit then came back down broke through that inside bar and then here and then you either take the pips or as soon as you see that one turn green maybe you're out or unless you want to ride it but once again i'm only looking to make two pips or so with this trade so that's all i do you know um, I'm going to may have to make another video because I didn't even get to the monthly chart here, but you can see the range was only 293. Um, the ATR percent was 47. It didn't change this month. So fellow traders, um, I hope you uh, had a profitable August. It's now September. I hope you have a profitable September. I'm going to wish you a fun and safe weekend. It is Labor Day weekend in the U.S. of A. So if you're traveling, be careful. And always remember, never forget, it's not what you trade, it's how you trade it. So drain the banks, rumple one over and out.